she just reminded me of a little song and said, What do you want the Lord to say?
Bishop Hudson and his wife for having this tent revival. You know, we can do this unless somebody has something to give. And, you know, it's some roots here. You know, my, my family roots here, you know, Callaway. My, I'm Lee, Mr. Lee. But it all started with this lady called Annabelle Burke. Yeah, yeah. You know, she planted some roots. Yeah. In her church. Yes, thank you, Lord. Then her church are planted in nature. Right, right. And now we're trying to plant it in our church. That's right, that's how you do it. But we ain't just trying to get it for keep it for us, we trying to get it to the work. Right, right. You know, that's what God tell us to do. He said, go forth in the world. That's what he said. And teach me. Make disciples of men. And so that's what we all about. We're trying to make disciples of men. All right. And a lot of people keep passing by, but they don't even know what they're missing out on. All right. You know, they don't even know it's some it's some free word over here that will change their life. Yes. You know, it's a word that will change your life. Because see, God changed my life. Uh-huh. It ain't may not be. You know, one day I just got tired of being who I was, and I fell on my knees and that cried out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My God. And he heard. He heard. He heard my cry. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. He sent the Savior to redeem us. Yeah. 
Bob said, let the redeem of the Lord say so. But I'm, I'm saying I'm redeemed. Hallelujah. But it took something bigger than me to redeem me. Amen. You know, Psalms 107 and 1 say, oh, give thanks to the Lord. For he is good. For his mercy endures forever. Amen. It said, oh, give thanks unto the Lord. For he is good. And his mercy endures forever. See, he redeemed me. And then he showed me mercy. Yeah. Because he knew once he redeemed me and saved me, I might fall. Hallelujah. And, and I, I can get myself up. Okay. But he said, you know what? When you fall, if you come, I'm gonna give you some mercy. Hallelujah. You know. I'm gonna give you some mercy, you know. But it was a day. They used to put blood on the mercy seat. Uh -huh. Animal blood to yeah. cover our sin. But <laughs> animal blood can take it away. So, before the beginning of time, John said in Revelation, he said, I seen a lamb slain. Slain. Yeah. Before the beginning of time. Yeah. And that lamb blood is put on the mercy seat. Yeah. So now when God looked down, he don't see my sin. He see the blood of yeah, 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 yeah. our mighty Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And then Jesus Christ sitting up there as the high priest in our day crying out, God, God forgive him. Yeah. He didn't know what he was doing. And then he tell him, Father, before you punch, look at the blood. And then God look at the mercy seat and he see the blood of the Lamb. And he give us mercy. He give us mercy. His mercy endures forever. Yes, it does. And if you don't want this mercy and this grace, I, I just don't know what's wrong with you. Because, see, with, with that mercy and that grace and that redemption, everything come with you. God said, hey, you do my work, I'm going to take care of you. That's right. That's right. You know. Yeah. And when you're doing this work, you ain't got to worry about it. He told us in his word, don't worry about what you should wear and what you should eat. That's right. But seek my king. Yeah. And all... All of it yeah. would be yeah. added to. Yeah. You know, healing. Uh -huh. <laughs> healing is in there. All right now. Huh? Healing, food, clothes. It's added to. Ah. Huh? Yeah. You're able to get up in your right mind. Yeah. You can't yeah. wake yourself up. Right. Alarm clock don't get you up. No. But a touch. Touch. From the hand. Yeah. Yeah. His mercy. Yeah. Touch and you get up yeah. every day. Yeah. And so when you open your eyes, the first thing you should say is say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. you gave me mercy to see one more day. Good or bad. Yeah. You allow me to see it again. So we need to give him all the praise, the glory, and honor. Because yeah. he worked. And I'm so thankful that my grandmother planted some roots and I'm, I'm so glad my parents my mom and them playing the roots they gave me something whatever I did in life I felt but I hope I could come home because there was some roots there was some roots and what we trying to plant here in Gay City we plan trying to plant some roots that God is good and his mercy is in due Hey, and ever, 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 and I just want to thank y'all, and we're gonna have a joyous time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We ain't gonna worry about who here ain't here, no, no. cause God said, He's "When here. two and three gather in yeah. my name, yeah. in my name now, I am him." Yeah. Yes, God. And He told His people, "Hey, forsake yourself not to assemble." That's what He said. So, hey, if we got one or two, He here. All right. And Amen. it's gonna be hot. Yeah. All and right. it's gonna be some fire. Because yeah, yeah. wherever Jesus is, you know the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit, he baptized you with that fire. My, I remember the old folks used to say, hey, my hands was on fire. I looked down and my feet was on fire. It's, it's him. And we just thank y'all for this opportunity. And we're going to give God all the praise, glory, and honor this year. Amen. Amen. Song, 
just drop down in my heart, sound like this. Well, it's just like fire. Because like you said, we can't even talk about this 
family on this land, but I'm talking about Martha Callaway. Yes, the woman yes. who, because of my mother and her uh -huh. uh, issue in life, that we took custody of her, took her refuge there. in this, took refuge in this house. Yeah. That yeah. I still see. Uh -huh. Y'all don't see nothing but I guess the trees and the pink land, but I see a pink, pink house. house. Yeah. I see a kitchen. Yeah. I see two rooms right here, like right in this facility. I see a room right there where if you go in there, you better come correct. Yeah. Come correct. Tell us first. A man who uh, kind of built this, so to speak, not physically, but built everything you see here for me. If you come up under them two people, uh -huh. and plus a, a mother that's so wise in scripture and stuff like this, and you made some bad decisions that yeah. put you in some places where God said, look, you won't listen to me on Georgia Road. Uh -huh. and, yeah. In St. Cloud, in, in sale M23. Uh -huh. Okay. I promise I get your attention. Yes, uh, yeah. <laughs> if there was ever a place where God said, I want to get your attention, you know, yeah. what did he send the person in the well? No. I'm talking about preaching. I don't even know. Was it Jonah? Yeah, that's what he did. He did let it well. 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 And so, that same God got places for us today. Yes. Not in the belly of the well. Thank God. Not in my head, thank God. But if we wake up and look around us, we standing in the most dangerous neighborhood in America. All right, now. This is what is revival. Yes. I don't think y'all realize this is the most dangerous yes. neighborhood in America. Right. I work. Don't don't look at the Mercedes shirt. Uh -huh. I work for an organization called War. We all related, and I work in these with these okay. kids. Whoa. And nine people from that apartment company right there been murdered since September. You, you ain't gonna go nowhere in the world except for like Iraq or. Mm -hmm. Warzone. Mexico. Yeah. Okay. And see that type of and, 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 and the ironic thing is is only black. My God. So we saying. know God is a just God. We know God is loving. Amen. And so that's why I think I came here tonight because I knew my family would be here. Yeah. And I just wanted to be in the presence of God. Hey, hey, hey. I didn't expect six million people here. Right. I didn't expect five thousand people here. Come on, I expected Daddy to be here, Sam right. to be here, my mama to be here, and God. Hey, hey, hey. And guess who got me here? <laughs> All of them. Yeah. All of them. Because God is a lot of places. Yeah. But God and Daddy and Sam and yeah. my mother and just me being here in this place right here. I just want to thank whoever made this possible. I want to come to the rest of them. I worked all the way in advance and. I'm in training right now. I'm tired. I'm a new. I'm a father. Right. I'm 41 years old. My first time dad. My God, and I'm going sweet. through uh, some real tough time issues with the mother, of my son, yeah. about cussing. It, it, it's so so stressful. But then I have to think about God. Amen. Come on now. God. Come on now. Everything's for a reason. Come on. Just to be in a better position to lead him and show him. But he's been showing me all my life. Yeah, right and this is the way he really intended for it to be. Yeah. Not through him, but through the Father on earth. Uh -huh. Through him. Yeah. See, the Father on earth followed him, then the child ain't got to know what the child he has to be for 14 years. See, my yeah. son, he, you can tell him Corinthians 3, he ain't gonna know that. Right. All he know is grandma, macaroni, uh -huh. cheese. <laughs> so if I'm following who? God. Uh -huh. And my son following me, and that's what I had to learn. Yeah. So seeing my older cousin yeah. do this, yeah. after doing that, yeah. and seeing my other cousin yeah. do this after doing that, yeah. and they always been kind of good guys. Yeah. Play a little good basketball. All right. And you looked up and stuff like that. Hey, hey, man. Man. I, I thank y'all tonight. Thank y'all so much. Hey, All right, just come on. Uh, um, um, one I have for me today is 
standing to show yourself a woman that need not be ashamed. Right. 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 Right.
gonna do a little bit of that. Next part you here will be in person of Elder Kevin Law. Amen. Amen. Back in the temple, Church of God in Christ. Yes, yes. My good friend. Yes. And we appreciate God. Look, look, man, y'all. We didn't sit this tent up. Hey, man, they're cute. No. No. no, we came here to pray to God. Hallelujah! Bring some souls to pray. This is holy land. Y'all didn't hear me. I said, This is holy land. Amen. God is in charge here. But we come to praise and magnify God. Just for who He is.
people come from Tuscaloosa, they come, come from Mobile, they yes, come from Selma, uh, Talladega, yes, and I'm all under that tent during the time we were having no Holy Ghost revival. Yes, yeah. The old mothers and saints of God, they were speaking in tongues, we were praying, yeah. people were getting saved. Back in the day, they were getting saved. Yeah, sure yeah. I'm saved. Uh, so I'm telling you tonight, if you want to be saved and feel God's spirit, just come on under the tent. God loves you. He don't want you to die in your sin. He's all souls of mine. But the soul that sinned, it shall die. Yeah. It's once upon a man to die. But after this judge, do you want to go before a judge Come in on. your day when Jesus sat on the throne? He said, depart from me, you workers of Nick. Nick really means sin. He said, depart from me, you workers of Nick. I don't know you. If I go there and he tell me I don't know him, I'm messed up. Ooh, I've been out here 40 years trying to tell someone about this Jesus. And now all of a sudden, he tell me when I get to heaven, uh, don't, you can't come in. Uh -huh. Depart me. Have your works in the lake. Your yeah. part is in the lake. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to go to hell. I've been to hell one time. Ah. I was in U.S. Steel 5 in 1980. Oh, Woo. Five people died in 1980. I got second, third degree burns on both legs. I got proof I've been in my fire. Wow. And I ain't going to hell a second no, time no, to burn. No, no. I burned for four. Man. I had burns on for 40 days, 40 nights. I was in the hospital. Jeez. But God brought them out. Yeah. Those that were with me to find the died, they all gone. My but God. I'm still here. Hey! Yeah. Talk about how good God is. Yeah. God been good to me. He's been good to you too. So still like that mother back there. One day she found the Lord. Yeah. Hey, it don't matter who I owe you. I always been to school. But you come to Jesus. Yeah. I'm still I'm still here. Wake up. The time of your redemption the the draws now. Yeah. I got a sermon today. I had it in a briefcase. I couldn't find it today. I had to go all the way back. I got it in my house. I said, I, go I got to get some books together. So uh, I know where it's at. Uh, okay. I told I, Apostle Don Thompson, uh, man, I got that sermon ready two weeks ago. He said, I'm going to come out here. And I got it together. Then okay. I had to be right on the gig. Okay. All right. And God gave me more than I had the first time. All right. All right. I'll do that. Yeah, so he made it even better. Yes, so tonight, I, if you got a Bible, let's go to Romans, the 8th chapter. All right. Beginning at the 31st verse, throughout the 39th verse. I got to read it for you because I don't even tell you something in the Bible. Yes, sir, if you got a Bible, you say, he telling me. All right. Because the Bible don't lie. Right out the Bible. God said, for my words shall fail heaven and earth. Heaven and earth will pass away. Yeah. David said, thy words have a hit in my heart. And I might not sin against thee. So you need this thing in your heart. Yeah. Out of the heart come the issues of life. Yeah. How many got any issues today? My God. Oh, raise your hand. You got yeah. some issues. I got yeah. some too. Yeah. Who got problems? I got right. problems. You got problems too. Yeah. But don't think about my problem. I'm saying, hey! Yeah. 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 God got all the yeah. my problems. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
of tribulation no, no, no. or distress yeah. or persecution yeah. or famine mm -hmm. or nakedness mm -hmm. or peril right. or the sword mm -hmm. as is written ah. for thy sake we are killed all the all day long we are accounted as sheep for the slaughter no. nay in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us yeah. for i am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angel right. nor principality nor powers nor things present nor things to come nor height nor death nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of god which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. All right. Amen. Say amen for the scripture. Amen. amen. Say amen, amen for the word of God. Amen. God's word is right. Okay. The word of God is always right. Yeah, it it always will be right. All right. That's when I read my Bible because I know the Bible is right and somebody is wrong. All right. There's a lot of folks out there wrong because they don't read the Bible. Woo! If you want to know yourself, you need to read this Bible. Amen. Amen. That's right. It's a such a scripture. Yes. And then you think you have each other right. right. Then you will have each other. If you don't know where you is, who you are, and what you've been, where you've been, what you've learned, if you haven't learned that Jesus is Lord of all, Michael, all right. He's the God of our salvation, yeah. He's the Maker, Creator, of Heaven, yeah, and Earth. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I, I want you to understand today, uh, in this scripture I'm talking about, and say, I will let nothing, nothing separate, separate me Michael, from, the from the love of God. We should yeah. not let anything yeah. on earth that we own or possess. Yeah. God has given us in our lifetime separated from the love of God. Our hearts are being made up, our mind made up. I'm not going to let nobody, my husband, my wife, my children, my grandchildren, my family, and know we have a lot of families, and they are disorientated, and they are separated, and all of this. Yeah. But if you're in the family of God, we shouldn't let nobody. Hallelujah. Even in the church, we shouldn't let nobody right. separate from the love of God. Because right. I know who I am yeah. and who I believe. That's right. I believe that Jesus Christ is the true Son of God. Yeah. He came in the world in the likeness of flesh, yeah. and yeah. then the sin in the flesh, uh -huh. that all of us might be saved. Yeah. No other name whereby I can be saved no. except the name of Jesus. Jesus. That's right. been a max people. They do you know Jesus? Do you know right. I don't care what school you went what your church background right. is, what name of the church is, uh -huh. but do you know do Jesus? You know right. If you don't know him, you need to get to know him. Amen. Tonight I'm here to tell you, Hallelujah. you need the love of God yeah. in your heart. Yeah. If Come God on. is for us, uh -huh. let nothing separate us from the love of God. Yeah. Romans 8 and 31 say, what shall we say then? What shall we say to then? these things, if God be for us, oh. who can be against us? Nah. Who against you today? Nobody. Who don't love you today? Who hates you today? Oh John 3, 16, what God so loved, so God, loved. God yeah. still loves you. Yeah. I'm just trying to all your mess, your junk, all your right. in and out, your yeah. sin, and you keep on sinning, sin and now. Yeah. But God loves you so much, yes, he, he will save you from all that you yeah. ever yeah. I yeah. sin, you sin. Yeah. I'm going to talk about it. She said she didn't drink no hips when she struggled with wine. Uh -huh. I asked him something the other day. I said, hey, what kind of wine y'all you, drunk? Uh -huh. So I said, well, I drunk a little Thunderbird and a little uh -huh. this and that. I drunk some John, John Walker Red, a little of that. Uh -huh. I said, yeah, but we all see. I uh -huh. said, I was drunk it too. Uh -huh. It made me feel good, but uh -huh. it didn't save me. Uh -huh. It gave me a good feeling. Uh -huh. But it, hey, yeah, yeah, it ain't like the Holy Ghost. Uh -huh. You want a good feeling, get the Holy Ghost. Uh -huh. Hey. It'll, it'll make you shout, yeah. make you dance, yeah. make you holler, yeah. make you cry for God. Yeah. That's what we need, say, the Holy yeah. Ghost. If the world had the Holy Ghost, we wouldn't have all this trouble. Oh, yeah. right. You wouldn't be having trouble in your home, right. trouble on your job, wow. trouble down in the this area, every, every in town. Yeah. The world is in a bad shape right yeah. now. They are falling from grace. Uh -huh. But we know we got a Savior. We have died on the cross yeah. for our sins. But we just shouldn't let nothing separate us from the love of God. Did you ever think that because you aren't good enough, God don't love you? Yeah. Yeah. yeah some folks think that. I'm a big sinner. I'm a rank sinner. I did that. God loved you in spite of all you have done. That's why he went to the cross. Died for you. Shed his blood for you that you might be saved. And so you can come to Jesus. He's oh, everyone that thirsts, come ye to the water. Come without money. Come without price. Come as you are. You want to be saved? Come to Jesus. 
Yeah. He's the best thing to happen to you. Yeah. Amen. We got to get out of this old thing. I won't do what I want to do. Act like I want to act. Your dad go to heaven. You ain't going to heaven. No. Uh -huh. Only the saints of God going to heaven. That's right. He said, bless the other pure in the heart, but they shall see God. Right. So if we're a ranked sinner, you ain't going to get it. He's going to say, pardon me, I don't even know. Okay. I don't care what, what you do, what you say, how long you went to school, it don't matter. Don't matter. All right. But the, so the, God love us enough, he wanted to save all of us. That's right. Yeah. He said, there is no other name under heaven where be saved except the name of Jesus. Jesus. Right. It's all about Jesus. It ain't about law. It ain't about uh, Apostle Hudson. That's right. It's, First lady oh, Hudson. Jesus. It is about Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. You need to know Jesus in spite of everything you ever done in life. Right. Why leave this world and don't know Jesus? My God. He said, if you deny me before men, yeah. I'm right. going to deny you for my Father in heaven. Yeah. You need to get to know Jesus yeah. tonight, yeah. not next week. Okay. But next week they promise to you. Right. He said, the day you hear my voice, harden not your heart. That's in the day of provocation right. when they was in Egypt. Right. I mean, in, in the land, in the wilderness. Uh -huh. You know the folk never got out of there. Went over with Moses for 40 years walking around the wilderness. No, the shoes didn't wear out. The clothes didn't wear out. They were blessed. God took care of them. Gave them food. Gave them sun by day. The moon by night. God blessed them. But still, they turned against God. That's what the world doing today. They don't want no God. They don't want no Jesus. They say, give me a little more of this or that. Lord, you bless me with a house. Bless yeah. me with budget. Bless me with this and that. I'm going to serve you till yeah. I die. They ain't going to serve you. No. As soon as God bless me, go to mess. My God. That's what he told the children. Those no, that did get to the promised land. It's like, when you get over there, don't forget about it. Don't get don't, don't in a minute with marriage and doing all that. But they didn't obey him. Yeah. So they got on the Canaan land. They saw the pretty women. Yeah. It's all the pretty men, beautiful yeah. men, yeah. handsome men, I have to say. Uh -huh. But I told somebody, they ain't nobody cute. Uh -huh. They me and the handsome. Look at me. All right. All right. Don't I look handsome? Don't I look right. good? Yeah. What yeah. you said? Yeah. That's what I am. Right. The ladies are beautiful. Yeah. You're on. beautiful out there sitting and looking at me today. Yeah. You're yeah. on Facebook. You're on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I look good. I know I look good. Uh -huh. God didn't keep me here for nothing. Uh -huh. <laughs> My birthday coming up Thursday. Uh -huh. Guess how old I'll be. Hang on. 79 years old. 79? So 35 plus 6, 35 twice plus 6 plus 2 plus 4. Somebody said, what? <laughs> what is that? They can't eat me. Yeah, but Thursday morning, when I wake up, the Lord let me wake up, I'm going to be 79. Uh -huh. The next year, I'm going to be 80. Yeah. If the Lord let me live. That's I was on the Temple Bible last Monday night, and the priest said, Preacher, I'm going to let me tell you something. Uh -huh. That's what? He promised out here. So the Lord said, you can get 20 more years. All right. I said, mine, 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 mine. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And guess what? I had already promised. If I get 80, I'm going to ask God for 15 more. Like health care. But guess what? When he said 20, that make me be 100. Hey! I'm going to be 100, shout, jumping and shout, praising God. What you say? What you say? What you say? Look at the Lord. He ain't no joke. I'm real. God is real. Yeah. And he's real in my soul. Yeah. Yes, God is real. For he washed and made me whole. Yeah. This love for me is just like we are going. I know my God is real. If you don't know my God, you need to try. Try, try, try. Let me stay with the text. Romans 8 and 34. Paul say, Who is he that condemned? God don't them all of us to see it, that we all see it. That's condemnation. But if a man, if if he is, if if Christ that died for, for you, died for rather that he is risen uh -huh. again, who even the right hand, you sit on the right hand of God, right. making intercession for you and I. Uh -huh. For us. He's making intercession. Yeah. God lives. Yes, he lives. He's on the right hand of God yeah. today, tomorrow. All but right. one day he goes, he said, you can call on me now while I'm making an intercession for you. He's our lawyer in heaven. Yeah. Yeah. But one day, he's going to be our judge. Right. I'm going to sit on the throne of David. Right. I'm going to judge every one of you according to what shall be yeah. good or evil. Yeah. God know you. He yeah. know you by name. Yes, he you know I'm going to hang on your head. Yes, he, he, <laughs> he know how long you're going to live. You yeah. know when you're going to die. Yeah. So he said, be you ready for knowing after day the Son of Man coming. Right. He's coming in an hour when we think not. Uh -huh. While we are out there walking in the field, yeah. while we're down at Walmart, 
think we got in ghost while we over there came out or in the other lot. While we in in the hospital, nursing home, convalescent home, all kind of home day in now. But hey, you better be ready. Ready. He's coming after you one day. So we need to be ready to meet the Lord. Yeah. They let him ride. Who make it intercession for us? Yeah. So Jesus is my lawyer in heaven. Okay. I got a lawyer in heaven right now. Okay. I got a couple of cases written right now. Ah. Who's trying to withhold my money from me? I went 17 years. Yes, Lord. But guess what? God going to lose my money if you let me. Because I know the man is up there. Yeah. I know how to cry right. loud and cry to the Lord. Yeah. So Lord, I need my money. Right. I need help. So you know how folks take something from you don't want you to have. But I, I work for that. That's yeah. mine. I hope it is. If it ain't mine, God won't give it to me. But I know he's going to give it to me. So I trust in the Lord all of my heart. That's what going to make me uh, know who Jesus is. So I let nothing separate me from the love of God. Therefore, we ought to praise the Lord because he's better than good. He's the best thing to come out of heaven. John 3, 16, son of a God, so love the world. Love the world. Love the world. But a lot of people dying every day for somebody else. Yeah. Pretty, pretty adventurous. Perhaps something may happen in life that you put your body on the line. Uh -huh. I heard about the lady at the church. The tree fell on the house. Yeah. She had the baby in her arm. Yeah. And she was on her and the baby. Yeah. Baby's gone. Uh -huh. Two children I think she lost in that storm last Friday night, Thursday night. So we don't know what death is. But God said, Thy will be done. God's will is going to be done whether you like it or not. He got your number, he got my number, your name, and my name. So we might as well mess up. Let's get right, people. It's too late, people. Pick the flowers by the wayside. So we know that if God is in us, He will bless us. Amen. Romans 8 35, where I want to get to right now. All right, God, come on. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Yeah. Shall tribulation? Yeah. Tribulation? Are you going through any tests right now? Mm -hmm. I like to tell people that been through a test, so it's only tell them sometimes it's all a test. Yeah. You're going to be tried, you're going to be tested, yeah. whether you love the Lord or not. Yeah. Also, my God going to test you. See, you say, I love the Lord. Uh -huh. I love the Lord. Yeah. But then when he puts some, some on you, oh, no. I don't care, I can't handle that. Get this off of me. <laughs> well, if you love the Lord, you can stand the hand the test of time. Yes, can you think about a man named Joe? Oh, Joe, an oh, upright man. Yes, he was. Uh, and she would love God. Yeah. He talked to Satan, the way you been. I've been going to and fro up and down earth. Seeking whom I can find. He said, so you haven't heard about my servant, Joe? He's an upright man. He said, yeah, I heard about him. Let me tell you something. I'll make him cuss you to your face. God said, so, okay, now let, let me tell you something. You can touch his body, but you better not mess with his soul. Because all souls are long. Go ahead and try Joe. He got, got went, went down there. The devil went down to Joe's house, took all his children, took all his cattle, and everything Joe had. Joe shaved his head, got his soul in the ashes. Said, the Lord give it, and the Lord take it away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Then Joe said, Man, his children had sinned while they was out there partying uh -huh. at their brother's house. God killed all of them. And the servant comes and says, Joe, uh, your, sir, your children dead? Yeah. All your cattle been taken away from yeah. Joe, what you going to do now? Joe got out and prayed. Yeah. <coughs> Joe said, nothing I brought in this world. Nothing I brought in this world. The Lord gave and the Lord is taken away. He said, blessed be the name of the Lord. Joe held on to his integrity. He did right all the time. But guess what? He had a wife. Who was she said? Joe, I'm sick of looking at you. You look bad. You got so far from crowning your head to the soul of your feet. And then you told me you trust God. Joe, let me tell you something. You ought to cuss God and die. That's like something y'all do. She said, Joe, let me no, that ain't none of my wife. Ah, that can't be my foolish wife. Okay. My wife, I know she would say it, but the devil got her. He told her, hey, 
Joe, you need to touch God. He said, all to my appointed time. I'm going to wait till the change comes. Since you can't hurry, God, you just got to wait. Have patience, give time, no matter how long it takes. He's a God we can't hurry. He'll be there, don't worry. Why are you worried? That's just one of the subjects I'm talking about. I got five. Hold it on now. Distress. Everybody been, anybody been in a distressful situation? Right. Who know about a distressful situation? Right. That means a bad situation yeah. that need God present him. Right. If you out on that highway have a terrible wreck, who you gonna call? Jesus. Jesus. Oh! Jesus. Say that again, mother. Jesus. Jesus. Ah! He's a very present help in time of trouble. Yeah. You might be out there on a dark road and a car in the ditch and all that. It may go down. You see, that shit been there. I asked the mother in my church, said, they coming off the other state, back, going down the hill. She said, Holler, Jesus, I'll stop right in the church. That's power in the name of Jesus. Power, man. See, those other people that say they know Jesus, the sun, moon, and food, and all them folks, you call them all day, no, ain't nothing going. Nothing. I got to use these money on y'all. Nothing. Nothing going to happen. You call them all day, nothing ain't gonna happen. But if you call Jesus, right. something's gonna happen. Yeah. He's a very present yeah. present. So if you're in distress, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. The song say, brought me out all right. Look yeah. at me. Yeah. I could have been dead sleeping in my grave. That's right. But he lift me up out of a harbor pit. Yeah. And therefore right. I know Jesus is alive and well. Yeah. Some folks think they've been in distress. You ain't been in no distress. Not yet. You better to keep on living. So just a few more days. This goes, God going to show us something in this world. In this United States of America, we go out to honor God and obey God. He tired. He's sick and tired. Then it's talking about persecution. How many have been persecuted? The B attitude said, Blessed are ye when you are persecuted for righteousness sake. But there is the what? Kingdom of heaven. Don't worry about somebody persecuting you, they lie on you, mistreat you, abuse you, do all the things to you. Don't worry about it. Look at, look at God. Just think about the goodness of Jesus. Yeah. Jesus, I've been pers Jesus hadn't done anything wrong. All no right. sin in him, no God in him out. But guess right. what? Jesus stood the test of time. Yes, he did. And he tried to tell us we got to stand yeah. the test of time in order to be saved. Amen. Yeah, he said, blessed are you when you are persecuted for righteousness sake. There is the kingdom of heaven. Yeah. God is in heaven looking down on us. He is your cry. Yeah. He know what you're going through. Yeah. You think you've been through something, you ain't been through nothing, Jack. Just keep on living. Ah. We just in the beginning of song. Right. God said it's just the beginning. That's where I have to read your Bible. Right. This is just the beginning of the song. We ain't seen nothing yet. Mm -hmm. see nothing. They come out of inflation going up. Even your light bill going up, your water bill going up, yeah. your money in your bank gonna disappear. Yeah. What the money you think you got, uh -huh. he gonna, that yeah. don't disappear. Mine just being all red. Ah. You know, every time I go to the bank, it's on E. Yeah. Just like my car sometimes. Well, but guess what? The Lord feels it back good. Yeah. Tomorrow is a good day for me because yeah. God's going to bless me tomorrow. Yeah. I spent all I could today and today. Tomorrow he's going to bless me again. Yeah. I'm, I'm never without the resource that God allowed me to have. Yeah. He said, he, he'll bless you. Just serve the Lord and pay off every while. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. So, uh, we all have been persecuted sometime or another. Uh -huh. I want to say something, y'all. Y'all know this? Okay. Don't see it. <laughs> We've been persecuted all our life. All right. Ain't nothing new. Okay. But guess what? God's on the side of the right. He's on our side. Right to the I ain't, I ain't worried about that. He can do whatever he wants, but I'm still going to trust in the law. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So we have had famine. How many know about famine? Yeah. We almost there now. Back in the, in the Old Testament, they had famine for seven years. Yes, Elisha told the woman of God, the shooter right? uh -huh. so it's going to be a famine going down there to another country. Yeah. And while she was dying there, she stayed seven years. She came back. And she oh, Lord, I lost my house and everything. She went to the, uh, the king. Yes, she did. Hey, sir, I, 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 I lost everything I got. Can you restore my house, my home? So you got to have a lawyer somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. See, the king went right on. Yeah. Restored everything she ever yes, had. He did. He'll do it for you too. Yes. Just to keep yeah. on living. Yes, he will. Oh, God said, right. I won't hope it. If you are the righteous of God, He will supply you every need. Yeah. Gave yeah. her a house back, gave her everything she needs. Yes, he did. Right. So if you are serving, you're serving God, it will pay off after a while. Amen. So we just thank God that God will 
supply our needs. Yes, sir. So right. if you're suffering lack of any food or anything of that, that, that clothing, yeah, the right. shelter, anything, God supply our needs. Yes, he will. Right. We look at the children here, they walk through that for the 40 years. Yeah. Shoes never wore out. Clothes never wore out. Never. And here we complain about we ain't got nothing to go to church with. Uh -huh. Got shoes galore in the closet. Right. Got clothes hanging up by rats and rats. Get up on Sunday morning. I ain't got nothing to wear. Nothing. Wow. See that nothing I'm talking about. I ain't got nothing to wear. Stop that line. Stop that line. <laughs> you got more clothes you ever had back in 40 than the 40 and 50. Right. right. I didn't have nothing but a pair of blue suede shoes and the other color shoes. Oh. I was back in there with blessed day. I just tell you the truth. All right. I had on my blue suede shoes. Right. But guess what? I got more shoes in the house right now. My 10 or 11 pairs every morning. I look at them. Good God Almighty. Yeah, got more suits I ever had in my life. Yeah, more clothes I ever had in my life. Yeah. And then you can go in the closet. I ain't got nothing to wear to church today. I can't go to church. Can't go to church. Any excuse. I preach something about no excuse. God nailed every excuse to the cross. Yes, he did. He nailed it to the cross. And that's the yeah, every time I look up. We got some excuse why we won't do this. That's right. I would go, but somebody got Good. the got the coat. Yeah. That's the that pet peeve now. Uh, somebody might have a coat. Somebody might have that virus. Oh. Now they talk about somebody might have a monkey pop. I don't know what that is yet. <laughs> they saw the news. I got a paper out right now talking about the monkey pop. I ain't gonna tell you who got it, who gonna, who gonna get it. They said some babies got it in Alabama today. My God. Wow. You know, like big old, you ever had a measles? Yeah. Big old bumps on it. Like mold, that they just like full of whatever. But a certain set of people out there that's getting it. My God. See, God, it's an abomination. God do some things. Oh, yeah. Oh, you right. So yes. he's working on them that don't know God. All right. You know, they think they're going to get away. He says, it's an abomination. It's we got to serve God in the right way because he's not going to bless us. Right. Oh, yeah. So we're talking about nakedness. God already put clothes on our back. Think about Adam and Eve uh -huh. in the garden. Before their eyes came on, get with Adam and Eve. They walk around this beautiful. Yes, they and they, they suit clothes, a naked suit. Uh -huh. Just walk around day and night, just enjoying it. But all God blessed them, put them in their garden. And they just in there enjoying themselves. But up come the devil, that old serpent. Uh -huh. So hey, uh, See that fruit on that tree over there? Yeah, yeah. Don't y'all want some of that? Uh -huh. And he started talking to the woman. Now I'm going to get in trouble. Uh -huh. He said, yeah, it sure look good. Don't talk to the devil. That's what you don't need to talk to. Uh -huh. He said, get behind me, Satan. Get back there. Yeah, Thank it look you, good. God. He said, if you get that fruit, you'll be just like God. You come see everything like God. She did, when she ate it, it didn't bother her. But the, see, the, the word was out. Yeah. The day you eat of this, surely you're going to die. He knew what it was, but she said, hey, honey, come on here, sweet. Yeah. You know how y'all cook them good apple pies and all that. Yeah. Honey, yeah. come on, eat with it. Come on. And guess what? In a few minutes, you eat it. And you say, oh, that show sure was good. Yeah. But then when she, she gave it out to me, ate it, their eyes came open. They looked at each other and they said, whoa, whoa, whoa. That guy looked something at my ass, put it down or something. Whoa. He said, hey, we naked. Uh -huh. They really hid themselves. Yes, they do. And they, they said, oh, Lord, we got to put on some clothes. Ain't no clothes around here. Uh -huh. We got some big leaves. Yes, they do. Yeah. Sold them together. I saw them big leaves. Yes, then I like to escape. I heard some of that rat. Uh -huh. I come out of that big tree. Right there. Woo! Okay. So they sold them leaves around. And oh, man, they hid themselves. And the evening, cool to eat, hit them go. Adam, Adam, where are you, Adam? Here I am, Lord. I'm hiding. Why are you hiding? Because I'm Nick. Who told you, Nick? Who told? Oh, that woman you gave me. She gave it to me and I ate. Them eyes came. He playing the blame game now. That's what y'all do. You always blaming somebody else for your hard time, your trouble, what you're going through. You don't want to blame somebody else for our show coming. So that's what he said. She gave it to me and I did eat. Then God had to make a killer pet. That's what he did first kill. Kill a lamb. Uh -huh. He gave him something to put a couple of yes, nakedness on. Yes, uh -huh. But we've naked more than that. Uh -huh. Let me tell you what nakedness is. When, when we uh, don't have the love of God in our heart. Uh -huh. You naked. Uh -huh. When you don't know God's word, you not have serving the Lord in the morning, you naked. Uh -huh. 
folks, they can't see the inside, but God see the inside. God don't look on the outside of man, but God look on our heart. He know whether we're right, know we're wrong. That's so right. that boy, he can see your neck. As long as you're in sin, you're, in ne you're naked. So you need to get right, church, and let's go oh, home and yeah. receive God as your Savior. Yeah. Amen. So let's not be naked. God will put on your, you if you need them. He'll, he'll supply your need. He'll get yes, them out of need. Okay, let's move on to the next one, peril. What is a peril? Danger. Amen. Danger. Do we look, are we living in dangerous times? Yes, we are. Can't you see this? Stuff going on all around us. Murder, robbing, stealing, killing. Wars and rumors of war. Yes, Lord. But God said, what? This is just the beginning of the song. You think you tell somebody you ain't seen nothing yet. Nothing yet. keep on living. Nothing. I got to use these bunny. Nothing. Nothing. You ain't seen nothing yet. So this is just the beginning of the song. God is going to punish you for the sin that we're doing this earth for the good evil. Yeah. So. We got to understand that we're living in dangerous times. Yeah. It's we be exposed to danger every day. Uh -huh. You walk out of your house, danger. you might fall. That's right. You might be in a car wreck, yeah. train wreck, plane uh -huh. wreck, right. ship wreck. Yeah. So we're not saved no way within Jesus. Yeah. Right. So he's in the bearer in our life is a pandemic virus we're following right now. Right. And all these other cancers, diabetes. Shingles, all kind of sickness up on us because we've been obedient. It's obedient. It's obedient. God allow these things. Whatever God allow, that's yeah. what's going to happen. But Jesus came to heal. He said, I came that you might be healed and delivered and set free. Yeah. That's why he shed, it, uh, he shed his blood on the cross. Yeah. Now he had 37 lashes on his back because said, it's good for the healing of the nation. Yeah. So if you want to be healed, you need to come to Jesus. Uh -huh. Therefore, I will let nothing separate us me from the love of God. Yeah. Romans 8 and 38 say, and I am convinced. I'm convinced. Yeah. I'm really convinced. Yeah. That I, I never, ever let nothing separate us from the love of God. Right. Don't let nobody. Yeah. Don't let death we scared of death. It can't harm you if you ain't gone. Yeah. He said, blessed are the dead that die in the Lord, they rest from the lake. Yeah. If you're in the Lord, you don't let death bother you. I don't uh -huh. feel death. Uh -huh. Death is your ticket to get out of this world. That's right. I know y'all don't want to punch it. Yeah. He said, once another man that died, but I didn't judge you. Death coming whether you like it or not. You can be old, you can be young. Don't make it old you up. When death comes, you got to leave here. You don't have no certain age for death. Mm -hmm. You got the babies the other day. Life can't keep you out. You can't help you. Right. Jesus, I come that you may have life yeah. and have more abundance. Right. You want life, get Jesus. Yeah. We worry about, oh, I want to lose my life. I'm scared. You better get to Jesus. I don't feel that. Right. I don't mind that. Because that's not the end of it. Yeah. You know, Jesus said, I come to give you life. They would say, I come to kill, steal, and destroy. Now, who you rather have, Jesus or have the devil? The angels can't save you. They can't right. save themselves. I got angels in camping all around me every day. Why do I feel what's going to happen to this body? He said he can tell about them that fear him. There's no fear in God. But the fear is in us when we can't believe that God is our protector. He's our everything. Everything. So therefore, we can trust in the Lord with all our heart. Yeah. And the demon can't, yeah. can't, can't, can't do anything to us. No. So I'm covered under the blood. Yes. I'm washed in the blood. Thank you, Lord. It's the blood of Jesus that keeps me from all hurt, harm, and danger. That's right. And therefore, I can trust him. Yes. So I don't, I don't feel what you do to this body. Don't feel. But you can't touch my soul. You can't touch me. Or don't. So we don't have to worry about all these things that we're worried about. We worry about too much every day. How I'm going to pay my water bill. They charge me. I went in the store yesterday. I saw a steak I wanted, but it's too high. I decided I'd buy me some neck bone. Nothing ah. I'm going to buy me a steak. Hey, I'm going to buy a steak. As long as I got a dollar, I'm going to buy what I need. Don't short change your stomach because you ain't got no money. You're going to eat some beans and rice when you can eat a steak. I need some potatoes. 
you know, God's of God, it's in there. Yeah. It's in the stove. Yeah. But you just gotta have something to get it out. Yeah. That means they get a job, go yeah. to work. Come on. Jesus is going to find you out and work. I went right, right out pay. Some people want to get they want to get all the goodies, but they don't want to work. I got young people all around me right now. I say, you want a job? No. I don't want to work. Do you know how to run this cash rent? Do you know how to do this? Yeah, but I don't want to work. That's the attitude they got now. All this money you can make working at David. And I got to go back to work because, hey, they don't want to work. And then, but they call on me to feed them every day. So I'm, 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 work, I'm thinking about what God can do. I know what he can do for me. And so, fear. Fear can't scare me. I had some folks want to come out to him. I was coming out this way. Oh, no, I ain't going out there. They, they look at you and new. Yeah. That tells me don't get your bow. You yeah. have all this fear. Amen. Looking at that television and putting all that fear in you. Yeah. That hate, that murder, that yeah. killing. It's all, that, that stuff ain't good looking. No. Won't get on religious stations, but they're going to get all the stations oh, wow. murder and killing. Yeah. yeah. I don't know all those stations they look at because I don't look at all that stuff. All right, then. So they say they love the Lord, but don't let worry get you down. Don't let it get you down. To me, and ought to always pray. Yeah. 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 Oh, if we pray, we can get in the kingdom. Yeah. And not faith. We don't faith over too many down. issues in life yeah. that ain't gonna ain't gonna help us anyway. Right. Yeah. You could have a million dollars still go to hell. Right. I could have a dollar and still get in hell. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it ain't what you got gonna get you to hell. No. It's what you, what you, who you serve. Who you serve. So we'll let nothing separate from the love of God. That's the eighth chapter. The 39th verse, we're finishing up. Yeah. Whether we are high above the sky uh -huh. or in the deepest ocean, My God. nothing yeah. in all creation will ever yeah. be able to separate us from the love of God. All right. That is in Christ Jesus. Yeah. If you're in Christ, you'll say, Hey, you are saved. So that is the feeling of Christ Jesus, our Lord. All right. So let nothing saints separate yes. you from the love of God. Don't let nobody, nobody, nobody tell you ain't saved. You ain't got this. You ain't got what did they got? That's the what you got. Uh -huh. I wouldn't have what you got for a hundred dollars, a million dollars, and die and go to hell. Yeah. It's what to gain the whole world and lose your soul. My soul is the most important thing in life right now. I done had my fun. I did this and this and that. Yeah, yeah. But right now I'm serving the Lord because it's gonna pay off. It's gonna pay off. The last thing I like to sing is this song here. I will trust in the Lord. Will you help me? Come on. Come on. Come on. We gonna trust it. How many gonna trust in the Lord with all your heart? Don't lead to your own understanding. It's yeah. all our ways and none of Him. He will direct your way. Right. Right. So we're going to trust the Lord. Amen. Yeah. People out here in the gay city, trust in the Lord. Trust in Don't him. trust in your family, your friends, your home, but trust in the Lord. Yeah. I will trust Come on. in the Lord.
trying to wind, wind down yeah. what we have to do to, so I can really enjoy the service. Yeah, All yeah. right. And I'll be so tired when I come under here, I really can't enjoy like I want to. Mm -hmm. We're going to have it together here. Yeah. And I'm too. And I thank God for you that came tonight. Yeah. And I thank God for Pastor Jones tonight. Yeah. Amen. 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 All right. Thank God. But Chaplain, Chaplain Gray tonight. Amen. That's right. That's my sister-in-law. My sister. Hallelujah. Thank God for you. Amen. Amen. Thank God for Sister Sandra. Yeah. Amen. It's, it's a good spot. Thank God for all y'all that yeah. come over here. Amen. Come on back and yeah. help us. Help us out. We got a few more nights here. Yeah. Amen. Thank God for Pastor Lawson. You did a good job. Yes, he did. Tonight. Amen. On tomorrow night. Do you know? Okay. We'll, 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 I, I can't remember who it's going to be, but it's going to be a good one. And it, every night is, is pretty much lined up. He said William Moore. William, yeah, Pastor William Moore. Bishop William Moore. He has one in March 27th, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah.
Well, I got some friends that be sick me. And I wrote the name down, then you know who they are. I missed them, I see, they want to give up. Ah. <laughs> Thursday, my day to be celebrated. All right. So they there, I got 10 folks for my birthday. Okay. So we took care of the lady that cook our food last week. So I got some people that see the rest of them tomorrow. They want to give up some. All right. Yeah. They waiting on that chick. Woo. That retirement chick, they all retire what I'm going to do, I'm going to give him this love token from Pastor Lofton and Sister Lofton. Amen. See what's in his name. Let's give him a hand for his birthday. Yeah. I'm going to be out there. Yeah. 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 I don't know how old he is. I'm not going to even discuss that. Yeah. But I know where I am. Yeah. 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 I'm 79. All right. Yeah. 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 Amen. When you have a birthday, it's a blessing. Yes. Tell God, thank you. Amen. I'm going to shout through it. Bad, sad, son. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Every year I got a birthday. Every day I got 10 sisters. All right. One brother. All 12 are living. The oldest is 87. The youngest is 66. All right. And I'm number five. Okay. Three were born in 1949. They're 73 years old and they live and walk around now. They're preachers, teachers. Yeah. We all. Life in our body. Amen. Twelve people. Ain't that a blessing? God is good. Yes, I'm blessed. And but we thank God for you. You ready to go home? Yeah. Let's stay. I gotta go all the way back to Belson. Ah. Oh. But there ain't no problem. No problem. Hey, God brought you. Yeah. Yeah. Tell the God our Father, we thank the Lord for the revival that's going on in Gate City. Actually, touch every heart, every mind, every feel, every way. All over this area, God actually bless them. I pray, save those that want to be saved, save in this community, save in our homes, our communities, our sons, our daughters, our wife. And God just say everybody that need to be saved. Now bless the revival for the next two weeks. And God actually part of your spirit for all flesh, the sons, the daughters, the men serving, the maid serving. Just pour out, God. We need more Jesus. We need more Jesus today than we did yesterday.